I see you, I hear you, I'm here for you. I call the member for New England. Thank you very much, uh, Mr Deputy Speaker. I rise today because we uh, have almost a diluvian situation of floods that are beyond comparison in so many areas down our east coast. And now we hear about uh, another water, uh, rain event coming in that will uh, absolutely saturate the inner parts, especially of New South Wales. What I think these issues talk to is the requirements, which we've said before, is for more dams. In our nation, we meet, need more dams. If we had a bigger dam where Warragamba Dam is, then we'd have a greater capacity to mitigate. Mitigate not only by holding back floodwaters, but by holding an, an amount that you could basically go back to without running uh, Sydney out of water. So many people are now saying, well, why wasn't there a release of water? Well, there wasn't a release of water because the current zeitgeist, in many instances, talks about droughts and how it's going to basically stop raining. We're only going to get minor rainfall events. And we've had other people, such as uh, uh, Professor Tim Flannery, saying the ground will be so hot that it would be unlikely that water will run off as it did and, and the world has changed. But this is not the case. And what we've had this year, especially in our area, is a cooler year and a much wetter year. But the times will dry again. The droughts will come. And it wouldn't have been great if during this time, this wet time, we had the capacity to store some of this wealth, which is water, so when the dry times come again, we could be able to use it. 